Dang. <laughs> I bought this Segway for literally under $500 and I had to fix it with some parts I got off of Amazon, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it. Check it out. All right, a little background on Segway. They filed their first patent in 1994 and it got granted in 1997. It was a device for transporting a human subject over ground having a surface that may be irregular and may include stairs. That would be a little scary to be going up that dude on some stairs. It basically was invented as an advanced wheelchair, but as Segway morphed more into the personal transport category, they were supposed to revolutionize the way we commute. The first time I saw a Segway, I was hooked. I knew one day I had to have one, and now is that time. I've always been fascinated by Segways, but I never really could justify the cost of them because they are very expensive and I don't really have a need except to play around on it. So this is a special DIY episode of Unbox Warehouse where we're gonna try to find a really cheap Segway and fix it. My budget for this project is $500. I'm not going over that because I'm not allowed to. So we looked for weeks, but everybody wanted way too much money for their Segways. Some people wanted like over $1,000 for one that was broken to use for parts. That's when my wife sent me this picture. She found this on Facebook Marketplace, $200 for a Segway. I called the guy immediately, sprinted over and bought it. And this is what showed up. This is a Segway i167 personal transporter. It's a little beat up. Uh, the fender's got a piece missing. The pad that you stand on is ripped a little bit. It's missing the plug cover. There's some black stuff up and down the handle. I don't know what that is. The button is missing. It's got some problems. One of the problems is, is it won't come on. It won't turn on, no matter how long you plug it in. I left it plugged in all night. Nothing, not a beep out of this thing. So I don't know if it's just the batteries or if there's some bigger problem like a fried main board. I don't really know how they work. The guy swore to me it just needed batteries, but who can you trust these days? He just wanted his $200. First thing I did was look at the bottom to see what kind of batteries this thing had in it, and it had nickel metal hydride batteries. Now. This is a bad deal because they don't use those anymore. They only use lithium ion batteries. So Segway doesn't sell them anymore, but there is a company I found that can rebuild them. So I called them up and they said, absolutely. You send us your old batteries, we'll cut them open, replace the individual cells in there, and we'll do it both batteries for a fee of $700. That sounds like a good deal, except $700 is more than $500. So I couldn't do that. And then I asked them if they would sell me the individual batteries so I could rebuild the battery packs myself, save myself some money. And they told me, no, it's their secret sauce. They said that there's a special battery that took them a long time to find that was the only one that they could get to work inside the Segway. I didn't really believe that, so I thought, let me cut into these batteries, see what's in there, and maybe I can find it online and order them myself. Removing the batteries from the Segway is very simple. I just laid the Segway over on its side. There's eight hex keys that you remove and then the batteries pop right off. It looks like each battery has two 36 volt outputs for a total of 72 volts per battery pack. And a quick test with the voltmeter confirmed my suspicions. I was only getting 2.9 volts out of this battery and I had it charging all night long. So it's time to get into this thing. I got out my Dremel and put on my personal protective equipment because I prefer not to have melted plastic become part of my eyeball. So cutting off the top of the battery was the easy part. I just stayed very close to the edge to make sure I didn't cut any circuit boards and ruin this project for good. The part that came next was pure hell. I realized that Segway used some kind of industrial glue that people nicknamed it Gorilla Snot. This stuff is serious. It has been in there for 16 years. I couldn't get these batteries out for the life of me. I completely ruined the batteries, but all I cared about was not damaging that circuit board because I'm replacing all the batteries. Once I got the batteries out of the case, I realized that these batteries weren't that special. These were just 1.2 volt sub C, 3000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride batteries. You can get those anywhere. So I hopped onto Amazon. After a quick search, I found these batteries right here. I can get 15 of them for 36 bucks. And they already had the little welding tabs on them. So I ordered 120. That'll put me right around the $500 mark. As long as I don't need any other parts, this project may be a success. So as I removed the old batteries from the circuit board, I realized that they're wired into 
uh, packs of 10. So it's 10 batteries all hooked to the circuit board, putting out 12 volts. So there's six of those in each battery pack. I used this old wooden clamp to hold everything nice and tight while I soldered. After a few hours, I had my first battery pack complete. Now, I didn't film the second one because I just repeated what I did on the first one, but once I had both battery packs complete, I decided I wasn't gonna seal them up just yet because I didn't know if I was gonna have any problems or not. Now, I really wanted to try to ride this thing right after I got through rebuilding the batteries, but there wasn't enough power left in there. When I reinstalled the batteries, I did hear a faint beep, so there was some signs of life. This was very promising, but I put it on the charger, went to bed, we'll have to hit it the next day. So the battery's been on charge for 12 hours now. It's flashing slow, it's ready to go. It seems to be functioning properly with these aftermarket batteries in it. Let's go take it for a ride, see how it does. Moment of truth, I don't even know what these keys do. I think the red's the fastest. What? Oh, red. it's green. It's working. It's working. Hey, no. <laughs> come on. Wait up, Baron. I can't believe it. This old thing is working like a dream. In fact, it feels like it's brand new. This thing feels like a brand new Segway, I swear. Oh, hold up. I literally just found a swag board, electric skateboard in the garbage. Is this, is this real life right now? Well, I guess there's no secret sauce like that place who rebuilds the battery told me. You just need to put batteries in there. You can do it. They charge $700. I got a whole Segway with rebuild batteries for $500. You can't beat that. I'm really addicted to it and I've been riding it everywhere. It's so much fun. It just shows you the quality and genius engineering that Segway had even 16 years ago. This thing's working like brand new. It's truly amazing. If you have any questions about this video or something that I did that maybe I didn't cover in the video, put your comment below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Also, you see these videos right here? I don't put those up there because they look pretty. You're supposed to click on them. Seriously, try it. Click one. What are you? What are you doing? I mean, I could sit here all day. I mean, I only have 20 seconds, but if you would click one, I'd really appreciate it. Or just subscribe, that's fine too. Whatever.